Hi, I'm Tony White, and I'm here to help you stop overworking your paintings. We'll focus on three things. We will limit your palette, stop using small brushes. Let's plan our painting. All right. Here's a painting, it's a bit of an old one. It's got a couple of good sections in it and some not so good. The not so good, you know, a bit overworked, too much going on there. And some stuff that's okay. Usually when there's a bit more light showing through and we're not as heavy handed, that's where it's okay. This one's okay as a overall picture, but it's got a couple of dodgy spots too. And um, I'm gonna try and show you how we can avoid overworking those. Um, my first tip and my biggest tip is to use bigger brushes or use the appropriate sized brush for the area that you're painting. A lot of students I see all the time, they'll use a little brush to try and do big areas and washes and I'll go through and do all of this little, you know, little dibbity dabbity horrible stuff and they end up just overworking everything, going too slow, and eventually the uh, the work itself just looks disjointed and, you know, just gross. It's not real good. It's just not very nice. It's not very nice at all. So what I suggest is getting a bigger brush, not necessarily a massive moppy brush or anything like that. Um, but just one that holds enough water so you can do what you need to do quickly and get out of there. You know, like the whole thing, oh, someone said it in watercolor, I don't know who it was, but you know, if you can make your, if you can complete your work in less than one brush stroke, <laughs> go for it, that's good. Um, but you know, You've got to you've got to just be confident to to give it a crack. A lot of people think smaller brushes, smaller mistakes. It's just not the way it works. So that's a little number ten brush that I don't recommend you use for this. This is how I want you to do it. Look at that brush, bang, 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 and away you go. Done, right? Spot on. And that's it. Same result. Took a third of the time if that and all that is it's just means it's not being worked to death look at this color using a lot of color just for the sake of it it's, we've got to limit our palette and that will really help that will really help make our uh, make our paintings a lot more harmonious and generally just nicer so with this you can see that I'm putting all sorts of different colors I'm using Every color of the rainbow just about here. Put some trees in or whatever. And you'll see eventually the end result's just uh, it's just all too much. Too heavy, too much. Keep going. Because a lot of the time what happens is things are fun. Watercolor's fun, right? So we make these brush strokes and go, ooh, that's fun. I'm just gonna keep doing it. So keep going, keep going, keep going. And that's what ends up killing it. You kill it with kindness. Whereas when, you, when you're on song and you're painting all right, you've got, um, you know, limited palette and you've got confident, quick, direct brush strokes. You're not going over everything and you're not going nuts on everything. You're just going whoop-de-doo, straight in. There's a, where's a tree? Here's a tree. There we go. All right, tree. Bang. There's a tree. And you leave it alone. That's what happens. You just leave it alone. And here I did all this wet in wet, so it's, you know, bleeding out here and there. But you'll get what I mean. Just doing it directly and you'll start to see, when, once it dries, it's, you start to see it looks a lot fresher than that one on the left. Even though one on the left is very colourful, looks like a hippie threw up all over it. <laughs> Tie-dye hippie. But, um, yeah, it's no good. And this one here, planning your painting. Planning your painting is so important. So you've got to have an idea of where you're going with it. Tonally, tonally, tonally. So always think you've got a light area, a medium area, dark areas, and then you kind of know where you're going. You're not feeling your way. A lot of mistakes I see happen when people when, when people just don't plan out what they're doing enough. So they 
they go through and they're painting and they just keep going and they keep going and they keep going and they keep going. The trick is to know where you're going and paint it quickly. So spend a lot of time at the start thinking about things, how you're going to approach it, what do you want to go where, and then you just do it. You don't dawdle, you don't, dawdle, you don't dilly-dally, you don't sit there and think about things for an hour before you paint the next brush stroke. You just go ahead and do it. It's painting, it's good fun. So get stuck into it, okay? And bang, direct, look at that. Boink, straight through, Tone, tones are good, lovely. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that's made your life a bit easier when it comes to working your paintings to death. Rest in peace, paintings. No more. Bring them back to life. Thank you. Adios, amigos. Catch you later.